All right, so I'm in the process. There's actually like 30 gallons of fuel in this truck. Uh, yeah, maybe 20, but I'm down to, uh, I've gotten 10 out or so already, but I wanted you to see what this fuel looks like. So I'm gonna put it in this jug right here. It's not even flammable. It's just been in this tank for so long. It has turned back into Mother Nature. It doesn't, it doesn't smell, it doesn't smell like diesel. I mean, it does, but just look at it. It's uh, it's kind of lubricious. It's not red, it's brown. That's kind of amazing, isn't it? Now I'll mix this with, with uh, good known diesel and I'll burn it in the heater for winter. Let me go get another bucket. Well, we got this side done. Ah. These are some uh, cabinets that go in the back of this truck. And um, they need to be washed out. Oh boy. These caps, they're inside thread, and that's uh, that sucks. But uh, this tank is full of this tank is solid. I don't know what's in there, but. Uh, it doesn't look liquid, so should be exciting to say the least. Looks like there's about 25 or so gallons in there. This feels like uh, Allen. Yep. Of course, why wouldn't it have a different one on this side than the other side?
I don't know what that is. Hey, what's up guys? Man, what a nice day. I love some fall weather. It's not too hot, it's not too cold, it's just right. Man, so I'm standing here next to this beautiful piece of machinery, 11. And uh, 11 is a 1989 Ford 9000 Aero Max. Now, what makes this truck special to me is that this truck was special to a friend of mine. And so when I saw it sitting out here, wasting away, I just had to have it. So let's get a look at it, huh? First, I'm gonna put a little bit of goo in this hinge because this thing is, it's got an on off switch, so. All right, guys, so this is the look of it. Now, we believe that this engine will not run. Um, this truck's been here a long time. The hood's been open so long that a tree has grown up next to it, and we can't shut the hood. So we have to cut that tree or grab it and pull it over and put the hood down and get by. But anyways, uh, heavy-duty steel bumper, I don't like that, but... You know, it is what it is. It's got a Cummins motor in it. Now, supposedly this block is broke. But, you know, as always, we're going to get a look at it. And we'll bring it home. And we'll dust it off. And we'll see if we can get it to crank. If it's got a busted block and it won't hold water, well, we might just stick weld that thing. And uh, see what we can see. We'll get inside momentarily. As you see, this truck was red at one point in time. Somebody dusted her off black. It's got a nice long wheelbase. Uh, wheelbase, I think, on the door tag said 235, but I don't know if that's accurate. It sure looks a lot longer than 235 inches to me. But, uh, you know, it's missing some exhaust. It needs wheels, needs tires. You know, everything else is in. Uh, we're gonna try and get over this tree. Now these trees just went down because my buddy cut them down in anticipation of dragging this thing out of here. Drive shaft is there. Front diff is in. So we're going to get that drive shaft picked up and roped up in there. We'll get, looks like it's setting down on the ground here. We'll get it pulled back. We'll try not to tear that fuel tank off. We're going to cut this tree. We're going to get those trees, let them lay over. And then we'll try and get some air in that tire, get this truck up off the ground. We'll pick it up from back here and uh, we'll drag it off out then into the weeds. Now there's no fifth wheel on this truck. Got an old chain holding this rear diff up. Pretty big tree growing through there. We'll have to do some tugging, but you know, this truck is in pretty good shape. I uh, really wish we could get in this door, but we can't. Uh, Looks like that tree's pushing on that tank a little bit, so we have to be super careful. Let's go back around. All right, so you notice I said this truck's name is 11, and uh, we've switched up from naming trucks with names to just numbers because, uh, well, just because. But uh, we'll show you a couple things that's, uh, 
the screw up in here that we have to tend to real fast. Now this interior is mint. This truck's been sitting out here for a long time, but uh, the way the Ford does this fairing keeps the weather off of that sleeper sleeper boot and uh, it keeps it in nice shape. So the seat's missing out of here. There's a little bit of spider damage going on in here. It's going to be a super interesting endeavor. A little bit of lunch left over from however many million years ago. But man, this thing's nice. It's got a refrigerator. You know, it's a double bunk. I can't, you can't really see up in there very good, but this uh, it's a nice truck. And uh, one of the things that's going on is somebody stole the steering universal off of it. And the steering wheel is straight right now, and uh, which is nice. This is uh, a pretty fancy truck. Got some, you know, the Ford's had a fancy, fancy interior. It's got the key. I mean, this thing is in good shape. And uh, we're going to... Uh, we're going to put her back to her former glory, and uh, but this is a back burner truck. Air suspension dump, some Liberty smokes, and uh, yeah, it's a nice truck. So anyhow, I'm going to put the, I'll bring the part in here. We just took off another truck. I'll stick it on so we've got steering, and uh, we'll go from there. I'll be right back. All right, so, oops. Let's see. I think you can see what I'm doing. It's really in a weird spot, right? So you'll probably fall over a little bit. But basically what I'm going to do is drop you several times. And so basically I'm going to take this universal joint. I've got it cleaned up nice. It actually works really good. Just needed a little bit of a little bit of lube. Now it still has that in there. It's got this flat right here. So we'll put this in. Uh, it's pretty interesting. down through here and then we'll bring this steering shaft up I like working on these old trucks you know out in the woods Spiders and all, you know, because, well, Bangkok. And I hope these. This truck has 757,444 miles on it, and uh, it shows. It shows this interior is super clean for the year, and uh, I'm actually pretty impressed. All right, so I'm not sure what you can see 
and I'm sorry for that, but uh, you know it's what I have to work with. And so somewhere in here is where this bolt goes. Um, seems like. Okay, not bad. You know, I always freak out a little bit working on these old trucks back here in, in the woods because I always expect a raccoon or something to be living in there, a big rat, rattlesnake, you know, something. These trucks ain't, ain't uh, monster proof, you know what I mean? There's a lot of monsters in the woods, and uh, it just would never surprise me to come upon a monster in one of these trucks that scares the crap out of me. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, so we're just going through and putting these, what is that? Oh, I see. Ouch, sweat right in my We're going to put these bolts in the ashtray. What do we got? Looks like we got the uh, throttle lock, fifth wheel. <laughs> got an ether button. We got lights galore. Nice truck. All right, let's get back out. Well, first, I'll show you what I did. I just put in that steering knuckle, and uh, we can get a little bit better look at that once we get it out of the woods and we get that oar open. Uh, but for now, that's uh, truck 11. We'll see. We're out here on Blue Nasty, and we're gonna try and get these uh, these cab jack cylinders off. And uh, it's crazy because, you know, uh, no matter how much I think about what I want to do when I come out here, I never bring the right stuff. And uh, so I don't have any spray lube with me today. Let's see, where's that? Where's that come out at? All right. Yeah, there we go. All right. Pin number one. You know, some pliers would be cool.
pin number two. And I think this is an airbag right here. Yep. Nice. But something tells me I don't even get to take those off. They are rusted right through. Okay, that's cool. There's one. That's nice. Actually, really nice. Thought it was going to be one of those things that you couldn't get out. I'm inside here, JP. set but I don't know when I'm gonna be able to get those off or not probably all right so uh you really couldn't see a whole lot of anything but uh we got the cab jack cylinders off and uh we're gonna get some lines off and we get that side panel off and then I'm gonna try and get this hair bag off we'll be back What's up, guys? Man, what a nice day. Sun's starting to set. I'm getting hungry. I'm ready to go home. I've been working on Blue Nasty, getting some parts for Fiona, and I uh, thought I'd spend a little bit of time and introduce you to 12. 1992 FLD flat top, 12.7 Detroit. Truck's been sitting, it's been off the road since 2003. You know, the thing about these old trucks is when you don't use them, you lose them. And so we're gonna go ahead and save this old girl and we'll give you a tour, I'll let you see what it's like. We'll see if I can get the hood open on this thing, huh? 
like it's off over here. There's some wasps flying around, so I'm going to try not to get myself into too much trouble. Let's, uh, there's some things missing off this motor. And this, this hood is not going to come off. Yeah, the hood hinges aren't on this one. No biggie. What's that? Now nah, the hood hinges are off. Huh? The hood hinges are on both of them. Oh yeah. I, I just realized it. No big deal. Give it a little push. Yeah. I'm always screwing everything up, aren't I? This one's gonna go. Hold on. All right, give it a little shove. All right. Dang, man, I'm trying to break everything in this boat. truck. Boat that yeah. All right, you ready? Yeah. There you go. Well, so much for taking that one off. See, I looked in there, I was like, oh yeah, it's oh, bolted. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and this one, the pin is out, huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's not a huge deal. This one's in pretty good shape. That's clean truck inside. Yeah. Well, we're about to see. I'm going to climb up in there. I thought I was going to get murdered by some murder wasps flying around that tree right in front of you. Oh, hop on that boy. Took all that stuff loose inside. Huh? Hey, uh... See these wasps, these wasps, I'm not sure what they're doing over here. See him? He's trying to bite me, I think. Ooh. Well, dang, man. I'm getting my ass kicked over here today. I guess it's better I, I fall than you falling, right? I wish I had that on camera. <laughs> Anyways, ah, okay. So, let's try and show you this truck. I'm gonna try not to kill myself anymore. Looks like the steering column's down. Some of the heat and AC duct is out. Got the uh, electric panel. Anyway, I've screwed up this video. Might have to restart it. But uh, this truck's in pretty nice shape. The dash is off here. The steering column's not on the truck, so. It's right here, and it's good shape. Right, it's just, it's just been in there looking. The interior's mint on this truck. And uh, what's it got, a nine speed? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Over, over, over again. Okay. Right. Yeah, it's a nice truck. All right, I'm gonna come down. Hopefully, I've already already crashed two times. What's in there? Nine. Get by here without kicking my own butt. But it's a good-looking truck. It's a '92. I was hoping for a '96 or so, '98. But you know, it is what it is. Kind of. Nice headache rack on it. Uh, it is missing some missing some airbags. Uh, frame's in pretty good shape. You know, it's not like the northern trucks where the frame's all rotted out. This one's in real nice shape. A couple of airbags and this thing be back in business. But uh, anyways, guys, there's the... Uh, passenger side aside from the hood being unbolted um, it's not in bad shape hey what's up guys I'm standing here next to this beautiful piece of machinery 13 it's a 1994 Freightliner FLD 120 70 inch condo and man just look at it 
All right, let's see if we can get it up. I got my side. Get and bring a barrel. Yeah, I'm on mine. Gotta keep the cage off in the cage. Right. Whew. It's not gonna come with just my little butt up here. Come on. Come on down. Or come you want me to come down? How? How? All right. Hold on, let me get a little bit. You wanna go up? Alright. Dang it, I wanna rip it off of there. Alright, I got my side. You got your side? Got a barrel? We're gonna miss it. We're gonna miss it. All right. That's the weirdest thing I ever did. We're gonna take and just get you up a little close to it. We got a little sun spark going on the camera, but she's uh, she got a Detroit. She's a 12.7. AC works. Cracked the hood when I popped it open, so now I have to buy it. I just tell Jessica I have to buy it because I cracked the hood. But uh, it's a good looking motor. This is a fresh, fairly fresh rebuild, and uh, it's a nice truck. I'm gonna put you down right here and we'll try and get that. You wanna try and get that hood to close? Yeah, we'll close it. All right, let's try it. You want me to do this side or you want to do this yeah, side? Okay. All right. When we go back, you might want to I got to pick it up and yeah. yeah. Go the other way with All right. It. Got it? Yeah. Nope, I still didn't I still didn't get it. Okay, I got it that yeah. time. Oh yeah, see it's just needs yeah. some panel bond in there. Bond? Yeah. No big deal. I can fix that. I guess I'll slide the heat. Is it on the post? Yeah, but it's on the panel. Well, well just a little crooked probably. You got it? Yeah, you know, yeah. you don't have this piece anymore, do you? Yeah. Do you? It's cut off. I took this off and cut it off. Oh, you cut it off? Before I get up. All right, let me, uh, let me go up inside there for a minute. Stay right there? Oh, yeah. You just hacked her right off with a saw, didn't you? <laughs> All right, so let's... Right? Let's go up inside there and get you a look of it. Come on, yeah. All right, here we go. I gotta make this thing wide. Wide as it'll get. Now, I used to have this same truck. Uh, mine was burgundy, but uh, this is a nice truck. Sorry for the brightness. Um, you know, stand up, you can stand up right here in the front, stand up in the back. This is a really nice truck. And uh, you know, for the most part, that was pretty cool. The steering wheel's in good shape. Got a little bit of chrome on the dash. And he says the he says the AC works. So let me get a what do you think guys? I'd like to start it up, but the batteries are out of it. We're trying to get them charged up. The truck's been sitting for a few years. Uh I know I'm going to drive it when I come out next time. The battery should be up. Uh, you know, put some clean up on the back there. Paint this frame up. Polish those wheels. It should be should be nice. So I'll have to fix that fairing. And it uh, should be good. So anyways, guys, there you have it. There's 13.